Hello, good evening, Marco. Hello, Marco, can you hear me? Yeah, good Perfect. evening. Good evening, perfect. I can hear you and see you. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. Let's uh, let's write the group in WhatsApp. Siempre les le recuerdo, les mando un WhatsApp. Um, si tenés preguntas así acerca del, 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 del tiempo, el, el, por ejemplo, ¿qué hora es? Yo siempre uso la hora de Google para conectarnos. Ah, ok. Entonces, solo preguntarle a Google qué hora es en El Salvador y ahí estás. Y ahí vamos ya. Ok. Do you have access to the platform, Marco? Yes? Sí. Yeah. But ok. okay. Tuve, una, tuve un, un problema. Mm -hmm. Este, con la pregunta 4 de... Uh -huh. Porque no la pude responder. No encontré ahí qué ponerle. O sea, probé varias y... y... Del, del knowledge check. Del sí. 1.4. Sí, el knowledge check. Pero... Donde decía de que... Um, de alguna manera, la, la única palabra que aparecía era type. Uh -huh. Entonces la respuesta era, not very well, actually. I need to take a typing class. Ok. Pero um, para formular la pregunta no encontré ahí okay. cuál era lo, lo ideal. Eh, ¿Me estás hablando de la que, de la, el enlace que yo le mandé a ustedes? No, no, no. No, ya este, en la plataforma. Ok. ¿Qué sección es? ¿Qué número es? La sección 1. Eh, ok. Eh, sección 1, 1. ¿Qué? Ah, no recuerdo, ya voy a ver. El primer knowledge check. El primer no, knowledge no. check es el 1.4. El último. Eh, de la sección 1. Sí, de la sección 1. Ok. Eh, no, yo no lo he visto, te voy a ser honesto, no he llegado hasta ahí, pero deja ver. A ver si podemos ver. It's instructions. Complete the following question. Guide yourself with the answer. Um, okay, so you have to complete the question here. Um, blank at the volleyball. Es que tengo que ver el tema. Creo que son WH questions. Ahorita lo veo. Con WH questions, el tema anterior. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, questions with how uh, yeah. in short answers. Ah, ok. De hecho, yo lo, ese tema lo tengo ahora para clase, pero no sé qué tan, qué, si vamos a llegar hasta allá. Uh -huh. um, okay. Entonces, tenés que ser okay. how long uh, ahorita veo. No, no era esta. Es el 1.10. Eh, bueno, 1.11. Del uh -huh. tema 1.10. Esa es. No, ahorita uh -huh. veo, ahorita veo. Hello, William. How are you? Good to good to hear from you. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good day today? Yes. Working. Eh, no, no, y porque está ladrando el chuchito. <laughs> did, did you have a good day today? That's perfect, teacher. Excellent. 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 Good, good. Hello, Veronica. Hello, nice, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
Uh, Carla, I'm are you there? I'm sorry. Ah, no problem. Were you here yesterday? No? Did you connect yesterday? No. Ah, okay. No, I, I couldn't. Okay, well, uh, bienvenida. Thank you. Okay, thank you for thank connecting. You. Okay. Thank you. ¿Estabas el mes pasado con este mismo grupo? No, okay. oh, no, it's, it's my first time. Okay, 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 perfect. Do you have access to Inglés Corporativo, the platform? Yes. Okay, good. So ahorita estamos en la sección 1 y vamos a hacer la sección 1.4. Ayer trabajamos ah. la 1.2 y vamos a, re, a, a tomarlo de allí y ver si podemos llegar hasta la, hasta la 10, 1.10. Ya la encontré, okay. fue la 1.11, no era la 2. Ok, 1.11, sí, del tema del video de 1.10. Um, deja ver el video uh, y, y ya, ya, ya te respondo, Marco, porque tengo que ver el contenido, el tema. Ok. Okay, very good. Hello, Gladys. Good to see you, Nineve. Hello. Hi. Okay. All right, very good. Let me get set up and, and we're going to start right now. Okay, let's start. Yesterday, uh, we did, we worked on frequency adverbs or adverbs or frequency. It's the same, okay? So, okay. we use this to talk about how many times we do something. Uh, <clears throat> Ustedes me escuchan, sí, va? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. All right. So we talked about frequency adverbs and we did a we did a little presentation yesterday yeah. so let me show you that yesterday we talked about frequency adverbs this is the activity from 1.4 no sé si han llegado hasta allí eh, 1.4 eh, this video talks about frequency adverbs so normally in english we say how often do you oh. how often is when we want to know how much a eh, how many times the person does this activity, okay? How often do you exercise? And we can say, solo repasando el vocabulary, every day. Repeat, every day. Every day. Excellent. Every day. <laughs> Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. Mm -hmm. Twice Once a week. A Twice a month. Twice, Twice a month. Twice a month. Three times a year. Three times, Three times a year. Often. 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 Seguidamente, often. Much. Much. Okay. Uh, also, you can use sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. ever. Never. Never. Excellent. So, um, I gave you some uh, vocabulary that you can use when you want to talk about how, how often you do something. So, if you never do it, 0%, you say never. Never. No. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. ever. Seldom. 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 Do you remember another word for seldom yesterday? I told you. I'll, I'll say it in Spanish. 
Claramente. Remember? How do you say it in English? Rarely. Rarely. Very good. Rarely. <laughs> yes, very good. Occasionally. 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 Occasionalmente, right? Remember, whenever you see the L-Y, it's the same as when you say in Spanish, ocasionalmente, usualmente, ese mente. In English, it's L-Y. Sometimes. 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 Often. 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 Normally. 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 Usually. 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 Always. 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 Okay. So, esto lo que hicimos ayer, we did a, a, a practice, right? Uh, so, I want to ask you, uh, let's do let's do an activity. Let's see, how many people do we have right now? Tenemos uh, maybe about 10 people. Okay. All right. Um, question. Question for you. All right. Tell me something that you do sometimes. Sometimes. Algo que hacen. Sometimes. For example, you can say, I sometimes mm. go walking around my house. Okay? Tell me something that you do sometimes. Algún tipo de actividad, something that you do. Listen music. I sometimes listen music. I sometimes listen to music. Very good. To music. Inebe, what about you? Mm, I sometimes take a bus from my work to my house. Okay, good. Veronica, something that I'm, you do? I sometimes drink tea. Okay, very good. William, something that you do sometimes? I sometimes go to party. Okay, sometimes you go to the party. Carla, something that you do sometimes? I sometimes cook. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, something that you never do. Something that you never do. Marco, something that you never do. Wait a minute. Something that you never do. I never go to the beach. Ah, oh, okay. Never. Wow. You never go to the beach. Because I, I don't have a uh, swim. Oh, you don't know how to swim. Oh. Oh, you have to learn. Okay. okay. Very good. What else, who else is there? Gladys, something that you do sometimes. I'm sorry, never, perdón. <laughs> never. Something that you never do. Gladys, ¿estás ahí? Sí, pero estoy perdida en la clase. Okay. Déjame ubicarme. Sometimes es algunas veces, como por ejemplo, eh, algunas veces sí, otras veces no. 50-50. So, for example, I sometimes go to church. Okay. Alguna vez. I sometimes go to church. Okay. Uh, let's see. ¿Quién más está ahí? Um, who else is there? William. Something that you do sometimes. No, I never teacher. Ah, never. Perdón, perdón. Never, never, never. I'm sorry. I'm confusing. Uh, never, William. Something that you never, never do. Teacher, fumar me olvidado. Ah? Fumar, ¿cómo se dice? Me Smoke. Smoke. Fumar. Oh, smoke. No, este, fumar. Fumar, cigarro. Fumar, smoke. Smoke. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, so tell no. me. No le entiendo muy bien. Fumar, cigarro, ¿cómo es? Smoke. Repeat. Smoke. Deja de pensar en español. Think smoke. in English, William. Smoke. <laughs> I never smoke. Excellent. 
I never smoke. Excellent. Very good. Sí, pero está pensando en español. I want you to think in English. Por eso se te está costando, porque estás traduciendo. So, te, de ahora en adelante te voy a hablar en inglés only. English only. Ok, William? Thanks, teacher. Very good. Ok. Eh, Verónica, something, yes. that you, something that you always do. Always do. Okay. Every day. Something I, that you always do. I always try to my work every morning. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Something that I always do, I always check my cell phone. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yes. We all yes. do it. We all do it. Everybody. We always check our cell phones. Excellent. Okay. So, un repaso, right? This is basically what we did. Okay. So, if you want to ask the question, how often do you and then complete the, the, the question. So, Nineve, uh, give me a question. For how, me. Often, how often do you go to the beach? I go to the beach once a month. Okay. Very good. Very good. Marco. Give me a question. How often? How often do you wash your hands? Mm -hmm. Ooh, good. Maybe five, six times a day. Maybe. I try. Okay. And then I use alcohol gel. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Carla, I ask me a change. question. Oh. Carla Mejia. Mm -hmm. How often do you travel? Uh, travel to where? I don't know. To other country. Ah, okay. So for example, the only country, Guatemala, that I go. Maybe once a year. One time a year. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, eso lo que hicimos, ¿verdad, ayer? En grupos? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Questions? Do you have any questions for this? No? No. Excellent. All right, very good. So that's something that we did, okay? Um, I want to show you the video that we have, a frequency adverb, video 1.3 and 1.4, yeah, that's a knowledge check. So let's try the, the knowledge check. Let me see, solo asegurarme de que estoy en pre-intermedio, yes. All right, excellent. So um, something that I told you, that the a frequency adverb goes before the noun. Do you do you remember that? For example, let me take my uh, my notepad aquí para escribirles. Uh, I usually go to the movies. Okay, so if the frequency adverb goes before, antes de que. It goes before the verb. Okay? okay? So remember that. Let's do number one point. This is 1.4. Tal vez ya lo hicieron. Si ya lo hicieron, está bien. Yes. All right, very good. Um, let's see, Marco, number one. Do you uh, play soccer ever? How, how, how is the correct way to say it? The first one. Do you ever play sports? Ah, oh, very good. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Veronica. Yes. Uh, number two. Sure, okay. I play soccer twice a week. What is the correct way to say? Uh, sure, I I play twice a... No, I play twice a week. I don't know. The, I, in this, in este caso... Uh, you can put this one. Sure. I play soccer twice a week. Twice a week. That's Ay, correct. Sorry. Yes, it's mm -hmm. true. Okay. okay. Thank you. Number three. Uh, let's see. Nineveh. Mm. 
It's a question. But do right? you what do you usually do on Saturday morning? Good, good job. Okay. Let's see. Who else do we have? Um eh, Carla Rojas, no sé si usted no, no puede escuchar. Si nos puede escuchar, nos puede ayudar con número cuatro. No, okay. Eh, Gladys, let's do it together. Yo te voy a ayudar. Don't worry, yo sé que no lo has hecho. Nothing much. I sleep until noon. El frequency adverb is almost always. So, lo podemos poner antes de sleep. ¿Cuál sería? Nothing, nothing much. I almost always sleep until now. now. Noon. 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 Noon es mediodía. Ah, ok. Very good. Eh, José Ángel, no sé si le les funciona su, su micrófono. Pruebe. José. No, todavía no. José. Ok. Marco, eh, number five. Do you do aerobics at the gym? Se me había perdido ahí el botón del micrófono. Okay, number five. Uh -huh. You do the aerobics at the gym. Do you often, the number two, do you often do aerobics at the gym? Okay, good. Carla Mejia, number six. Um, no, I do aerobics at the uh, no, no, I do, no, espérame. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Excellent, good job. Okay, let's see, Veronica, number seven. Yes. Number seven, uh, exercise on Sunday. Uh -huh. Yes, do you, you, Yes, do you exercise uh -huh. on Sundays? And then we have always. Where do you put okay. always? Ah, uh, okay. I always, I do always exercise. Ah, okay. And I can, I have to under, uh, answer. Ajá. Entonces, aquí te están dando tres opciones. Una ah, de ellas, okay. una de ellas tiene el frequency adverb en el lugar correcto. ¿Cuál sería? Ah. Do you exercise on ah okay? Ah, uh, do you always do you always exercise on Sunday? Yes, that's correct. correct. That's correct. Are you okay. are you on the valid frequency adverb? Okay. Uh, let's see, Nineveh, number eight. Uh -oh. No, I never exercise on Sunday. Good job. William, number nine. What do you do after class? And then you have usually. Donde pongo usually? Option. First, what do you usually do after, after class? What do you the first one? What do you usually do after class? Okay, one, two, or three. Option one, teacher. Excellent. Good job. And uh, Carla Mejia, number 10. Uh, I go out with my classmate about three times a week. Okay. This one is, uh, I think it's correct. Uh, the, the same way that is like this. Okay. Yes. This one. All right, let's check. All right, good job. Wow. Correct. Okay, all right, so now let's go to the next topic that we're going to go to. We have today a topic of pronunciation. So I'm going to play the video. Si ya lo vieron, it's okay. But let's, let's play the video together, okay? Let's listen to the video. Okay. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. 
there is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Uh, this exercise is only about intonation. Intonation is the music of the language, okay? Uh, it was saying that when you have a sentence and then you have the name of the person at the end of the sentence, usually, if you look here, the intonation... She looks up, tired. The intonation goes down, okay? You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee, okay? The name of the person, Val Final. Whenever you see that, that means that the intonation is going to go down, okay? So I have a list of uh, intonation that we're going to practice. I have 10, okay? So I'm going to put it in, lo voy a poner en WhatsApp, y lo voy a poner en, en, uh, en Zoom, en el chat de Zoom, okay? So si no lo ven en un lugar, lo pueden ver en el otro. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, sorry, sorry, everyone. Okay, there you go. Uh, we're going to separate in groups, two people, and you're going to practice that. So, su intonación en la oración va para abajo. Okay, and then you say the name. For example, I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Your intonation va para abajo. Okay, so let's stop the sharing. Let's go to groups. Two groups. Uh, let's see. Van a recibir el, el, la invitación para ir al grupo. Dele join para que vayan al grupo. Jose, está allí. Jose Ángel. Jose Ángel. You are a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. Hola. You're a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. Okay, good. Go. Number you two. Are, <laughs> you are a great worker, Robert. Okay, good. You are a great worker, Robert. Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work, Jennifer. Keep good, up good. the good work, Jennifer. Good job. Talk to, mm -hmm. talk to him, Robert. Talk to him, Robert. Talk, talk to, to him, to... Robert. Yes. <laughs> work with, with, chi, with child. Oh. Okay. Hello. Okay, go ahead. Eh, Están viendo la, la lista lo que pueden hacer? Eh, Marcus te lee la 1, Verónica te lee la 1, Marco tú lee la 2, and then like that, ok? Ok. Like intonation. Ok, go. Let me hear you. ¿Inicio yo? Yes, go. Ok. The number one. She is a great friend, James. 
¿Sí me escucha? Yes. Sí, te escuchamos. She's a great friend, James. She's a great friend, James. Ok, very good. Entonces vamos para abajo y hacemos una pausa antes del nombre. She's a great friend, James. He's a great friend, James. Ok, good. She's Verónica, great try it. Now your turn. Ok. You are a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. You are a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. Okay. You were you were a great worker, Robert. You were a great work worker, Robert. Okay, go continue. Verónica okay. number three. I sorry. Eh, eh. Puedes ver, eh, estás en tu teléfono o uh, en la computadora. Yes, uh, aquí in the in the. Cell phone. Okay, okay number entonces, three. Quédate en, quédate en WhatsApp o en el chat y solo lee le de ahí porque te escuchamos bien. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You are a great work and in number three, you are a great worker, Robert. Mm -hmm. Number four. Keep up the good work, Jennifer. Keep up the good work, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Number okay, five. Good. Veronica, number five. Okay, uh, talk to him, Robert. Le damos seguido. Eh, leen la misma. Es decir, si usted leyó las cinco, le, Verónica sigue las cinco. Si usted lee las seis, Verónica sigue las seis. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Talk to him, Robert. Okay, six. Tell her how you really feel, George. Okay. Tell her how you really feel, George. Okay, continue. Seven. I am doing a waste on today, John. Seven. I am doing awesome today, John. Okay, good. Continue. Eight. I want to go to the movies, Fred. Number eight. I want to go to the movies, Fred. Okay, good. Nice. Uh, okay, did you practice the intonation? Yes? Of course, teacher. Okay, number one, William, repeat after me. Uh, number one is, she's a great friend, James. She is a great friend, James. Uh, para abajo. She's a great friend, James. She's a great friend, James. Okay. Trata de, de ir para abajo. Okay. Uh, Nineveh, number two. You're a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. Lady Merino, teacher. Hey, Gladys. Number, number two. Solo que no te escucho. No sé por qué. Porque ya me cambió el nombre. Okay, uh, you, you are a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. Okay. You are a great teacher, Mr. Johnson. Good, good. Okay, you're, next. The next, number three, William. You're a great worker, Robert. Hey, you're a great worker, Robert. Repeat. You're a great worker, Robert. Okay, good. Okay. Gladys, number five. Okay. Uh, no sé si lo voy a decir bien. Keep, keep up the good work, Jennifer. Yeah, keep up the good work, Jennifer. Repeat, repeat. Keep up the good work, Jennifer. Keep up, keep, keep up. up. Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work, Jennifer. ¿Qué es keep up? Que mantenga el buen trabajo. Que siga con el buen trabajo. Keep up. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Number five. Okay. Talk to him, Robert. Repeat, will you? Talk to him, Robert. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Number six. Tell her how you really feel, George. Tell her... Tell her how you really feel, George. Very good. ¿Qué hacemos? Antes del nombre, hacemos la pausa, ¿verdad? 
-huh. Y tenemos que ir bajando desde el inicio. Very good. Intonation. Excellent. I am doing our song today. Too. I want to go to the movies, Fred. I want to go to the beach, Victor. Okay. Tell him about your accident, Hector. Okay. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, very good. <clears throat> let's let's go back now to the to the meeting. And I have some questions for you. Okay, we're back. Excellent, good job, good job. The, the intonation in English is important uh, because la intonación del español y el ritmo no es igual que en inglés. Okay, so remember that. The, the, the intonation, the pronunciation, the rhythm, it's not the same. So, nunca han escuchado en español cuando la mesera dice, ¿Quiere un poquito más de cafecito? Right? ¿Quiere más cafecito? Eh, si tú usas esa intonación en tu inglés, va a sonar bien raro. Y no es natural. No suena natural. So, la intonación del español y la intonación y ritmo del inglés son diferentes. Okay, very good. All right, so and let me share my computer screen with you. I have another activity. Okay, uh, the activity that I have is from the com a video. Uh, this video, one point one point eight. Okay. I'm going to play the video. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm going to play the video. Let's listen to the, this conversation. And then we're going to practice this conversation, okay? So let's listen now. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, excellent. What we're going to do now is we're going to practice this conversation, okay? Uh, this model here that I'm going to give you, este modelo, okay? Uh, let me see. I'm going to put a picture in WhatsApp. Uh, I'm going to put a picture there. En Zoom creo que no puedo poner fotos así como esta. Pero la voy a poner en WhatsApp. Okay. So let me see, let me see. What we're going to do is we're going to go in groups. And we're going to go in groups. And we're going to practice this conversation. Quiero ver si lo puedo poner en el grupo de chat. Let me see. Uh, no, no me deja poner imagen. All right. So we're gonna go in groups again, and what are you going to do? Let me show you the conversation. It's right here. Let's read it together. A, una persona dice, you're really fit. Uh, William, for example, estoy hablando con William. You're really fit, William. He says, thanks. 
I guess I'm a really, I'm a real fitness freak. Did you listen to that? Escucharon esa palabra in the conversation? Okay. It's only an expression. Es como decir que soy un fanático del fitness. Okay. How often do you work out? What is workout? Gym, running, lifting weights, exercising. The person is going to use a frequency adverb. Una oración completa. That sounds like fun. What about you? How often do you exercise? La persona A va a responder with the frequency adverb. Okay? And then you're going to change it. Okay? Talk about another activity. All right? So, okay. lo que van a hacer es aplicar el frequency adverb. Okay? Okay. Este es un modelo que le estoy dando. Y después ustedes pueden cambiar la actividad. Ya no están hablando de exercising. How often do you go to Chinese restaurants? How often do you go to the movies? How often do you watch Netflix? Y van a aplicar el frequency adverb. Okay. okay? Very good. So, eh, let's, go, let's go to groups again. Let's go to the same groups, okay? Okay. They'll enjoy to go to the group. <clears throat> José, ¿me puede escuchar, José? Hello, José. ¿Me puede escuchar? Ahí está. Entonces, era una conversación como la que nos mandó, ¿verdad? Sí. Practiquen la primera, okay. llenando los espacios. Ok. Y después, y después cambien el tema. Vale. José Ángeles. Do you hear me? Hola. Ok. Yes. Eh, yes. You really fit, José Ángeles. Um, más o menos. <laughs> no. ¿Querés, Carla? Okay. Practicar la conversación con Nineve. Ok, Nini. Para que José, porque él, él estaba teniendo problemas con la compu, tal vez no. Escuchó. Ok, Nini B, do you really fit, Nini B? Thanks, I guess I am a really freak fitness. Fitness freak. A fitness freak. <laughs> ok. How often do you work out? Uh, I always go to the gym. That sounds like fun. What about you? How often do you exercise? I do exercise four times a week. Four days a week. Days? Days a week. Good, good. I go to the gym four days a week. Okay. Uh, how, how often do you go to the movies, to the movie theater? I hardly ever go to the... Uh, <laughs> movie theater. Um, when mm. you go to the movie theater, what kind of movie do you see? Do you watch? Mm. I love comedy movies. Co comedy romantic. How often movies. do you watch to the comedy movies? Uh, I always 
watch comedy movies by Netflix. By Netflix. How often Ooh. do you watch okay. Netflix? Time out. <laughs> excellent, Carla. En Ineve, excelente. Excellent. <laughs> okay. okay. Ahora, eh, eh, Jose, do you understand now what we're doing? Eh, poco. Ok, ya poco, trabajo. Me está costando encarrilarme porque no, no estuve en la clase de ayer, solo, 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 solo escuché nada más. No, no pude interactuar, entonces eh, voy un poco perdido. Ok, ¿pudiste trabajar la plataforma? Es decir, ¿pudiste trabajar los ejercicios en la plataforma mm -hmm. individualmente? Porque eso no lo vamos a hacer aquí, sino que esa responsabilidad es, es, es tuya, hacerlo cuando puedas. Sí, correcto, pero hiciste, hiciste no pude ingresar al link. ¿Al, al link de qué? No, no, no pude ingresar al link. Si, si me los envía nuevamente, por favor. No, pero la plataforma de Yo inglés... Yo trabajo corporativo... con gusto. Ok, escúchame. La plataforma de inglés Ajá. corporativo... Ese, no, ese, ese link no te lo envío yo, sino que esa ya te la envió en el correo con toda la información del curso. Pudiste acceder y tenés acceso ahorita a Inglés Corporativo, a la plataforma de Inglés Corporativo. Solo me envió, solo me envió un correo agradeciéndome porque ya estaba conectado. Más okay. nada. Ok, José, mire. Eh, ahorita después de, Solamente antes de la clase, es. escuche, antes de la clase... Yo voy a mostrarle a usted lo que es inglés corporativo, esa plataforma. Y usted tiene que tener acceso Por a eso. eso. Pero los últimos cinco minutos de clase, le voy a enseñar esto a usted. Porque okay. usted tiene que tener acceso a eso. Allí, allí está el sí. contenido de la, de la clase. Ok. Very comprendo, good. Comprendo. Ok. Very good. Eh, José, okay. how often do you watch TV? How often? Mm, mm, no, no, no understand. Okay, very, okay. Very good. Okay, very good. Nineve, a yes. question for you, okay? How often do you go shopping? <laughs> I hardly okay. ever go shopping. How, uh, how often do you go shopping, Nineve? I hardly ever go shopping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carla, how Hi. often do you go to a Chalatenango, beautiful mountains? I hardly ever go to the Chalatenango. Ah, never. Ah, it's beautiful. Hardly, hardly ever. Hardly ever, okay. Because I like Chalatenango. El yes. Pital is, the, is my favorite place. Mine too. I, lo I like Chalatenango. I usually go maybe four times a year. I like to go like four or five times a year. I, I, go, to, I go twice a year. Excellent. Nineveh, <laughs> how often do you, let's see, how often do you clean your house? I always clean my house. <laughs> Every day? Every day. Excellent. Excellent. Very, <laughs> very good. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to the, we're going to go back to the groups now. Okay. okay, Jose, me escucha. Recuerde si quiere hablar, quitarse de mute. Tiene que quitar mute. Tiene que abrir su mic micrófono, mute. ¿Me escucha? Yo no lo escucho a usted, pero yo no lo escucho a usted porque está en mute. Está en mute. Well, 
Hoy sí. Ahora sí, ya, ya sabe dónde está el botón de mute. Ya lo encontró. Sí, sí, sí ya, ya, ya. Sí, pero no es que yo lo desactive, la verdad. No, está, es que automáticamente se cierra. Much Está en mute, teacher. Ah, sorry. Thank you, William. Okay, excellent. We're back. <clears throat> the conversation was great. It's great practice when you want to talk to someone. Uh, for example, uh, Veronica, how often do you clean your house? Uh, quitate, quitate de mute. <laughs> Está en mute. Okay. Um, Sometimes eh, make the cleaner. Okay. So, tenés que usar el frequency adverb primero y después el verbo. So, I sometimes, sometimes clean my house. Sometimes clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, tenés que usar el frequency adverb primero y después el verbo. Okay. okay. Eh, William, how often do you go to the beach? Seldom. Ah? I seldom finish. Go to the beach. I, very good, William. There you go. I seldom go to the beach. Excellent, William. Very good. Okay. And... Okay, excellent. Now, let's go to the next activity. We have 10 minutes to watch the video and answer any questions. But before that, eh, Jose Ángeles, no sé si me está viendo o escuchando, pero les quiero enseñar, Jose, aquí, si ven, voy a compartir mi pantalla. Ok, Jose, no sé si me está viendo, espero que sí. Porque no estoy seguro si lo, me está escuchando. Let me see, let me see. Mm. José, este es el micrófono, José. Esto normalmente sale abajo de su pantalla. Y aquí es donde usted puede cerrar y abrir el micrófono. ¿Ok? Puede que usted no se escuche, pero si no abre el micrófono, no le vamos a escuchar a usted. Ok, very good. Let's go to uh, Inglés Corporativo. I want to watch video, the next video, which is um, 1.10. One point ten. Let's watch this video, okay? Um, algunos tienen dudas sobre el ejercicio eh, después de esto, entonces vale la pena verlo. How often? How long? In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Yeah. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. An hour on weekends. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. En la actividad que sigue, 1.11, van a hacer varias preguntas. Le va a pedir que pongan how often, how long, how well, how good. Now, ¿cuál es la diferencia? La diferencia es que how often, how long, 
I use it for time. La uso para tiempo. Para hablar de la cantidad de tiempo. O frecuencia de tiempo. How often do you go to the beach? How often do you watch movies? Okay. Estoy preguntando por la frecuencia. How long is this class? How long is this movie? Estoy preguntando sobre el tiempo. La duración en, en términos de tiempo. How well, how good, está hablando de que, eh, de performance, es decir, de mi rendimiento. De qué bien hago una cosa. How well do you speak English? How good do you speak English? Okay. Está hablando de mi rendimiento. Okay. So for the activity 1.11, tienen que ingresar una de estas. Okay. Questions? Preguntas? Yes, teacher. I, huh? I have. Yes. I, uh, the difference when the well. And good. No. And good. Ah, the difference. Okay. Uh, in reality, uh, it's there's no difference. Only the difference is, todavía no han llegado a ese tema, pero es para comparativo, com, eh, comparativos. Okay? Um, eh, for example, you can say good, well, or better. Okay? Um, good and well are basically the same thing, but Sometimes, cuando hablamos de la salud, when we talk about how I'm feeling in health, says, I am, you can say, I am not feeling well. When you're talking about health, I am not feeling well. Okay? Si estás hablando de rendimiento de algo, for example, I am not very A good. Aha. Uh -huh. I am not very good at cooking. I am good at playing baseball. Okay. Sí, cuando estoy hablando de rendimiento, uso good. Normalmente cuando estoy hablando de, de mi salud, you can say well. Okay. Con oh. estas preguntas también. Ajá. Con estas preguntas también, teacher. El, el... Ah. ¿Cómo el well? Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, for example, si tú quieres preguntarle a alguien uh, si te sentí bien, you can, uh, la ves un poco enferma, you want to say, are you feeling well? You can use yes or no question. Are you feeling well? No, I, uh, I don't. Huh? Excuse me? One example with how well? How well do you, después tienes que usar el do you. For example, how well do you draw, dibujar? How well do you draw? Okay. Okay. For example, an activity that you do. So after how well, normalmente you can use do you. For example, let's go back here. How well do you play tennis? How well do you cook? Okay. Pretty well. Always is the verb do. Ah, yes, yes. You use the verb do. How well do you? Mm -hmm. Do you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Si estás hablando con otra persona. Si, estás, si vas a usar she or he en vez de you. All well is she. Do How does well she. does. Very oh, good. Yes. Ahí lo dijiste tú. How well does she play tennis? How well does he cook? Yes, very good. Okay. Ahí va a cambiar do eh, por, das. Por, por does when you use he, she, it. You change it to does. Okay. Okay, so um, with that, maybe you can try the next exercise which is uh, 1.11. Algunos están allí ya. 1.11. You can check it out. Okay. okay. 
y yo le voy a tratar de ayudar con esto eh, mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Voy a, trátenlo, y si ya ahí por la tarde les mando las respuestas. Pero <risa> quiero que, <risa> quiero que intenten. All right, very good. Ok. Eh, José, yo sé que no, no me estás viendo ahorita la pantalla, sí. José. Solamente te quiero enseñar. Sí, 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 sí. José, mire, este okay. correo que usted recibió le da acceso a esta plataforma. Yo no sé si usted está usando ahorita esta que dice inglés corporativo, esta página web. Sí. La, sí. la, la está usando, ya tiene acceso. Sí, sí, ya, ya, ya me registré debidamente y ya, ya, eh, ya estoy accesándola. Ok. ¿Ya vio algunos de estos videos y lecciones? ¿Perdón? ¿Ya vio algunos de los videos y lecciones aquí en la sección número uno? No, los lo empezaría a ver mañana. Ok. Porque por hasta el... hoy configuré la PC. Ok. Ya cuando usted empiece a ver los videos antes de la clase, se va a sentir más cómodo. Ok. Porque Ajá, si, no, si no vemos el contenido antes de la clase, vamos a estar perdidos. Perdido, correcto. Ajá. Sí, ok. Sí, sí. Very good. Ok. Very. Uh, any other questions? No, teacher. All no. right. Excellent. Ya ustedes saben cómo trabajar. Son profesionales ya en esto. Ya pueden dar clases. Ya pueden, ya pueden dar clases de, de inglés corporativo y, y de Zoom. Ok. Very good. Verónica, ya tienes acceso a, la, a inglés corporativo. Puedes empezar yes. a, a, a utilizar los videos, las lecciones, eh, los knowledge check. Ya más o menos se dan cuenta, estamos como la, ahí por 1.10. Y tratamos de terminar, Verónica, una sección y un poquito más. Ok. En una semana, para poder terminar las cinco secciones en cuatro semanas. De acuerdo. ¿Verdad? Hay un examen final eh, acerca de todo el contenido y hay un, un, examen, de, un sam, examen como después de la tercera sección, que es como lo, un repaso de lo que ya se vio hasta ese punto. Entonces, esos exámenes, pues, eh, la, la, la empresa, este, bueno, la, la Academia Inglés Corporativo pide un 80% de, de nota en esas actividades. Las pueden hacer las veces que quieran. Ok, very good. Ok, William, only English. Think in English. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Perfect, I like it. Ok, have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Good okay, night. Have a good night. Too. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye.